And the man who's so solid seems to be fantastic at just finding multi-frags. Not today, though. He's already shut out of the round. Yampy is getting spammed at. The door is about to be closed, but there it is. The recon, the info they were waiting for, catches off the Killjoy. Shutting him down now, they're a little bit more comfortable to play for the retake, and even more so as GTM plays a dangerous game, spamming a frenzy through the smoke, but they can see those tracers. They knew that he was there and took him down right away. This has just become a very awkward situation for Vikings. A great opening to the site, and well... Not a great ending okay. the... for GTN. He could make a very quick rotation back into mid if he wanted to. Oh. Instead, Yumpy! What? Okay, that's nine kills in two rounds. He's just aced it. Oh, 100%. Yumpy wants to get up here, but that flash, it actually pushes him back. Scream falls. Okay, that's a great start. Here's the ultimate pop to get the information. Yampi pops his blade storm, but gets nothing far the one kill. Oh, okay, Link. Sneaky beaky down below. Sulk is going to emerge from the smoke and catch them completely by surprise. It comes down to a 1v1, a bonus round for Liquid 1, where they don't stand to do too much damage. Vikings hope to just build up that economy and put themselves in a good position. But instead, they end up with 15 seconds and zero information. The spike needing to be planted, and it will be stuck. Cryptic sneaks out of heaven in the meantime and knows that player has to be up close or still behind that generator. Sassy gets a good position underneath now. The steps not really going to be masked. Sassy knows exactly where he is, and that will be the round converted for Vikings, but it comes with a pretty heavy cost. You're going to pop the Hunter's Fury right off the bat. Screen catches the first, the second, and almost a third, tickling up Sadik down to just 20 HP. They get no progress for it, barely managing to make it out of the choke point and losing so many players along the way. Team Liquid now reinforcing this B site, but Sadik isn't letting this one go. A shock dart kill onto Cryptix bridges the gap even further, but do they know that Link has snuck on? They might not care. Because these players, they're set up to potentially contest in towards spawn where Yampi is currently waiting for the smoke to fade. 10 seconds remaining. Yampi makes it away and even catches a kill on his way. Link tucked in, undetected, able to close out that round. And Liquid, they put up a convincing answer back. On eight, their play is so slow and Liquid are predicting it with the info they're gathering in the early stages of the round running into this, but still getting a couple of kills under their belt. A good first start to the attack but well it does kind of fade away a little bit but sassy down on three hp his impact should be pretty low considering they had pistols i think it's already been a pretty good round if sassy gets one more kill he'll be feeling very very happy about his impact but yeah that was pretty unlikely really like this divide we'll talk Ooh. about that a little bit later perhaps because straight away there's going to be a push in towards pizza and screams wall has now been revealed getting nothing for his trouble the players in spawn not to be worried about with the wall up and as F or Z gets onto the side, that's an oh, awkward no. fight. Luckily, a trade is found immediately. And a smoke down to cover the Cosmic Divide's dissipation. This will be a plant, as well as a man advantage. There's a retake. It's going to be tough for Team Liquid again. They need to find something to propel them into this, or it will just be another save. Again, keeping that B lobby control is just going to make this retake very, very unlikely, especially with the man disadvantage and... This is basically what we know Vikings best for. This complete change of pace. Off the back of the ultimate again, just to make sure the rotations into the site are going to be very difficult and that they can't be spammed from the defender's spawn. And now they're actually looking to go hunting. Clear out some of these remaining players. Sutikas eventually will fall, but hey, they've got themselves up to a third round. They're dropping some of those weapons for Liquid and basically trying to make some of those rebuys a little bit more difficult. And Link... He does actually manage to sneak back in. So he's going to claim the operator back. I, I will say, I, I like the idea. Like we barreling onto this side on the side of Vikings looking for these duels. But Solkus, he's the first to take a fight. And he goes, oh. doubles and triples down on it. That might be it for Vikings. The time is way too low. And well, Sassy ain't going to do too much there. Puts her into the site instead of a TP. It gives you that extra entry scream already looking to spam. But he's got a little bit of support here. Trade back and forth, though. Sadaki keeping things even. Link, again, he always seems to be good for two, but he runs out of bullets and falls. Sudekas will close out another. They managed to garner the site. 20 seconds for them to get the spike down and nothing that can be denied for now. Although, actually, Liquid, they're going to give it a go. They're pushing before it's actually down. 
Yeah, they're trying to make the clock the biggest enemy, but unfortunately, bullets come back their way to take them down. Nicely handled by Vikings. The Yoru used to the backside without the boom to it. He's going to be on the backside now, ready to take a fight. Screen, the first to open things up, and GTN forced out the lockdown, pulling them back in towards main. He's going to use his TP to safely cross, but in the meantime, his teammates are falling like flies. Yampi still with the dash online, free for a kill. Dash still up, which gives him the confidence to go out for more. GTN left alone. And a one versus four doesn't have the spike and there's less than 20 seconds on the clock. This one is lost. It's already gone Liquid's way, putting six on the board. And this is quite scary left. now for Vikings. They don't want Liquid to run away with this in the later stages of the half. Yeah, this definitely looks like Liquid are, are very well prepared for all of these sort of like mid round rotations that Vikings love to do. Like they're more than happy to play that clock incredibly low and get down to like the last 10, 15 seconds when they go. Especially with the Sage Res, right? If somebody peeks and goes down, they can get them right back up. And I think that's the intention. It's why Sage switches up to come through Mark in a safer position to res from as they start to rush on out, open up that extra space. But Sutikas, he's here. That rifle that was invested into now stands alone. The one player fighting to keep Vikings in this for five rounds. He's swinging out, but well, there was nothing he could do. The time was so low as Cryptics was on the defuse and Link three man stack with a fourth able to rotate in. This is going to be tough for Vikings. Oh man, especially because GTN doesn't have any flashes left. He's in trouble as he goes out and they are just walking into a firing squad. But with so little time left and the utility they had committed to it, they had to go. It's going to see the feet as they come around the corner. The first kill goes his way. Left on 44 on the retreat, but hey, you'll take those man advantages whenever you can get them. The wall up gives the headshot angle and very nearly gives a pick towards Team Liquid. Cryptics will be taking left. down FRZ as they close in on the site. Another goes their way. The player under heaven now caught and isolated. Link, Ooh. the one to connect the shot to close that out. Oh, and another headshot found for him. He's so low, but using the head peak angle down below puts him in a great position. Team Liquid now just looking to hold on and run down the clock. Cryptics and Link both low, but there's only Sadik left to deal with, and the trades are quick and fast. Nine to four. This is some SMGs. They're coming in with three rifles, so it's a gift if you win this round. You're probably going to get an extra bonus, oh. and hey, you know what? That's a gift as well. Yumpy goes diving through the one way. And Sidikas does very well there to actually come away with two kills. Again, the idea, fantastic. They go up to try and push these players off the control so they can get the ult orb, get Yampi his ult, and he can just go for fights. Instead, he dies. So, hey, he's got his ult online. But these rifles, they are just going to dominate these fights. FRZ and Sassy, quick to almost close this out. It's just Link, and although he's been a god in clutches previously, this time it just ain't going to happen. going to be two players here. It's so free. Look at that. <laughs> Gun is insane. I like this as well. Okay, TP up above, so it's going to allow the cross into heaven, but there's the cloud burst to cross over the ultimate looking for the frags, but Yampi really not hitting them this round. I'll tell you who is, though. Sudakas, last two. He's been impressive. Shutting down the A push here. Now towards the site, there's going to be a TP up behind, but nobody checks the alleyway. Sadik able to grab himself a double and now lock down that site. FRZ comes through the smoke to provide support, and that is a clear win for Vikings. We'll get Yampi on his way through. Oh, FRZ, he got caught on the wall by accident, but still gets the kill. That is nasty. Another player fallen and the site potentially overrun. Liquid now have four players online with that res. You'd be forgiven if you thought Link was out, but he's actually on five HP, just barely holding on to life. And a potential heal could come through pretty soon. This is dangerous for Vikings. They're going to use that Killjoy ultimate to try and push them back. And it looks like it will be successful. Everybody bailing out towards long and short. The Odin picking up a kill. Scream returns another and Cryptics is in. They've now got a crossfire on this. They can swing from two different angles. We've seen this one before just the other day by V1, but not this time <laughs> around. They get information, but they're actually already giving it away. In come the recons, the paranoias, everything, and GTN, oh my word. He gets away with a double, and FRZ dashes to safety. A plant now to come through as Team Liquid get the site, but it is still a 3v3 as Vikings will gear up for a retake. 
the Cosmic Divide at least giving them a little bit of an opportunity to clear out some of the closer spots, but it will dissipate. It has held the remaining players of Liquid in towards the site, so chance to maybe isolate the jewels. They've tried to use the Gravity Well to pull some of the players out of position, but Liquid are not budging. Well, I say that, Yumpy's actually going to go pushing. He's had oh. enough. He's just taking control of the round all on his own. One man left standing, Sadaki versus the world. The first kill will go his way. And even going to try and switch up to the... Oh, oh. Dude, he gets the next one. It takes Yumpy closing him out. Vikings now with four players here. The TP onto site will see it's clear. And you're only re really worried about heaven oh. with Sudakas dropped below. That is a real kick in the delicates. The site now completely liquids and they get the kills for it. Yeah, that's a problem, especially considering his position. I, I feel like he had to get the kill on Link there. We're going to see the dimensional drift used, trying to clear out some of those spots and maybe give them a reposition to actually retake from another angle. It will give another spot, but it doesn't matter. Soulcast has already found another with the shock dart. They've also got the denial of the pushback in the nano swarm. Going to hold them back even further. And this map is looking done. Liquid, they have taken their opponent's choice, a map that they feel comfortable on themselves and Vikings. They're going to have to try and swing this back in map number, map number two. They got rid of the Rays and the Phoenix, so I don't know what, how much Brazilian is left in them at this point, but I'm loving whatever it is coming out of them right now. They've got to innovate. They've got to keep opponents on their toes. And I'll tell you who's on their tippy toes, jumping back towards the site. Oh, it was Solkin. But as they get that pressure on C-Long, they want to go through Garage. That's where Sudacast just gets slapped. And now the a sites where they're looking to take it through the legs of the turret. It doesn't get much unluckier than that, but now we're going to see the push, the dash, straight in towards the back of the site. It is that 1v1 that ends in Link's favor, but the trade's not going too badly. The problem now, though, is the time. 12 seconds to try and get that plant in, and the second it begins, we're going to see the push start going back in towards the site. Already Cryptic shutting down one. It's left on to Sassy. He needs to find all three. And Yampi, well, it's not quite the 4K of the last pistol round, but you know what? I think three will do this time. Whew. We got back to back Yoru picks. I think that's a first for on EU. Our screen, it seems so obvious, but on theirs, not so much. FRZ able to drop one, but immediately after, bodies start hitting the floor for Vikings. They answer back, they get the sight and a plant, but look at the left. HP. Less than half, no armor as well on any of these players for Vikings. The drop out of heaven from Scream could be huge. The flash is there, the drop right after, there's the first. But Sulkus falls, Scream in with more. He knows that Suitcast is towards short, exactly where is unknown. He clears out now, Focus, cyber focused on this position. He could be tucked in the close left corner, but down on the short itself, the step is heard. But oh. Suitcast actually wins that. Just 50 HP, but he walks out. Not set up great for the next buy round. And right now, ooh, it was looking to be before Scream came in with a quick shot to Sadik. Putting it back into a 4v4. 50 seconds on the clock. Spike to be planted and a retake with these kind of weapons is, is never going to be ideal. But it's all about damage here. Getting two to three kills is the objective for Liquid and it's still very much plausible. Yeah, I, I, the, the only issue I have is that the weaponry they currently have is just not going to give them any angles to get back into the site. You don't have anyone who can just jump around the corner with an SMG or maybe a judge as we've seen many a time. Scream, still making it costly. And more importantly for him, Ooh. this has now earned him his res. One of the most powerful ultimates we have in this game, dropping a lot of weaponry while he does it. Now, saving this into the next round, however, probably not going to be worth it. So I imagine just not trying to give that over to his opponent. May even want to just die to the spike. Yeah, that's it. You, you see him there. He looks for a weapon so he can escape away, but then realizes uh, the best I've got is the Spectre. It's not worth it. Into the spike you go. And the logic of this for anyone at home, because I think. No, no, it's gone. <laughs> it's been heard <laughs> on the way through. There's the flash pop to allow a little bit of aggression, but they don't get the kill that they want off this liquid. Still with the man advantage, happy to just trade out one after another. That's not quite a trade there, Link, but he drops down, feeling the confidence and catches the headshot, allowing the defuse to come on through. That will be. Two to two, Liquid tying it up here. Uh, anybody within the pit, aggression from Scream actually doesn't go his way. Now, considering the weaponry that's involved for Vikings in this round, a free rifle, they'll take that all day long. 
Oh, the ulti to delay right after. Oh, that's so good. So they don't have positions. Now they're able to push out. You're going to see Cryptics on the site. Link able to grab himself one. Cryptics barely makes it away. He was tagged up by that drone. Made it around the corner again. before they could do a lot of damage. The rotates, they love it, man. They love their fakes, but this time Team Liquid are wise to it. With Solkas having a judge, he's not as willing to give up this position, and the spike is oh, going alone oh, through Garage. Oh. Why is the spike going alone through Garage? Oh, well, okay. They've thrown that round away very, very quickly. Any hope they had, and they actually would have had the C site. Just, boom, oh, it's gone. Yeah, this, this is starting to get painful because this has happened a few times now. We saw it again on Ascent where they actually rotate into Yumpy, where he's just waiting for them to go for these plays. As said, it feels like Liquid have done their research on these sort of late rounds. Still on that weak weapon, right? He's got the judge in hand. Are they going to expect it? Yes, but they run right into it still. The spacing not there for the trade. Another caught off guard towards a long. This is a disaster. Vikings putting their economy on the line to try and take the lead out of Liquid's hands. And yet the horsies are taking the lead by the looks of it. If this round keeps playing out, Link tucked up close. <gasps> this could be more than one even. He catches Sudikas. He didn't even know he was there in, a, in an attempt to pursue Sadik. <laughs> he finishes off beautifully with a headshot. That's a disaster for Vikings. A round where they only really take one aim duel, it feels like. And that's this for FRZ, which is quickly quenched. Oh, my God. Cast wanting to try and get back into the site. He's got the pop flash. Oh, the, the old strike combined with it as well. They don't stand the chance. That is beautiful from Liquid. The flash couldn't have been better from Soulcast. This is the agent we want to see him playing. But the timing left. of that strike no chance for vikings two players left 25 seconds spike down mitch how do you get out of this one you don't you don't get out of this one tom this judge? is done and dusted surely a five versus two <laughs> if you had two judges you're good but no oh man 15 seconds it's all about how much damage they can do really and possibly saving the weapon but no not even in question a flawless round coming out from team liquid well, they now got 15 seconds. So unless they're planning on winning this one in a very short amount of time, unfortunately, <laughs> the only thing they can really hope to do is die because you don't want to just have some poor weaponry saved. They actually managed to turn this into a doable position, though. Spike going to be planted. A two versus three. They've retrieved a phantom as well. And the operator from Yampi needs to connect. And well, before I can even finish the sentence, he's landed the shot. It's left on to Sassy. He needs to put that board power to use as he looks to rotate in from behind. Neither player realizing he's there although link has turned around and the read again it may not necessarily have been the clutch against him this time but he always seems to just have the perfect placement Straight in. it's going to almost be that distraction play now he could just opt to try and stick this one and almost find him and that's exactly what he does cryptics is expecting the tp away and instead gtn goes you know what? i'm just gonna fight you now they've lost the player on the rotation but they have got the site now mitch even sprayed down his own teammate as well one wants the extra damage but yeah, that's a, a very good entry. And the ulti, you, ah, well, it's not gone well afterwards, has it? TP and back, trying to get the flank. And sometimes you can look for too much impact in a round. That's what we just saw happen there. Sadik not going to be blinded. The timing is good on that swing as he catches Solkus off guard. Another trade in for Vikings to put them back into the 2v2. Time is on their side, but the man advantages are no more. And Sassy has been spotted down towards long. The Hunter's Fury activated, but they're still going to get it halfway. There it is, firing in for a little bit more, but he needs the kill and it's being watched. Oh, but he got it. And the time is too low. Player here to support Link getting his time to shine on this b site defense and he's been spotted and taken down real real quick but that's the spike, spike luckily mid. the trade is there immediately vikings realizing that they've left the president back there and they've got to go protect them now left out locked out of this b site team liquid try to go back in and find some space but frz back side just too strong leaving yampi alone he has a lockdown but unlikely to use it even going to the sheriff in case he gets double peeked on this is going to be a tough one to get into because there's two players. We've seen him do this with the no scopes before, but the trade is immediately <laughs> there from Sassy. Six to five. Vikings are keeping this round. Oh, up and over we go. FRZ 
Looking to style on them. Yampy's the one to pick up the kill, though. Normally the jet on the other side of it, but yeah, he's making it work. An operator coming in to clear out garage and hoping he finds another victim. All three players outside of it right now. But the B side is going to be where Vikings look to take it. They've already suffered heavy casualties in this final round. It's time to throw themselves at it. Everything they've got. There's a res, lockdown, orbital strike. So much to work with and scream. Only gets the one from that. It looked like so much more. FRZ shut down to close this out. Seven to five. On the jump from the wolf in the end, it spots out both players in towards the back. But the duels just don't seem to be going Liquid's way until Solka somehow sneaks up beside them. Cryptics with the trade to put it all onto Suitcast. Pushed out by that snake bite. He was just on the edge of the smoke. He thought that was his timing to move, but no. Oh, great info on the jump from the wolf in the end. It spots out both players in towards the back, but the duels just don't seem to be going Liquid's way until Solka somehow sneaks up beside them. Cryptics with the trade to put it all onto Suitcast. Pushed out by that snake bite. He was just on the edge of the smoke. He thought that was his timing to move, but no. It's over. It's now going to know there's only one player currently within this C site. Right at the back of it, Sadaki just oh, trying God. his best to survive. Yumpy, he's got a perfect lurk position as well. Already cutting off one of the rotations. Sadaki, Whoa. though, he's doing a damn good job. Somehow he's still surviving at the back of the site, Whoa. and his teammate even comes in to help. But the trades come in thick and fast, leaving it into a 2v2. Spike will be planted, but there is still a chance for the Vikings. Oh, there absolutely is. They could be sailing through with a victory right here. That snake bite going to slow down the plans, though. Bit of a wrench in the works. And his team liquid, both players on the site. Orb goes up. Oh, man. I mean, this is a worst case scenario, really. All that Viper utility there holding you back. They're going to put the TP through. That will have been heard by Cryptic, so they'll be ready for it. A flash you would expect to come on in, but they don't have one to play with. They've got to just go in for the peaks on this, and Cryptic takes them out. That is nasty. And I guess GTM probably put that down to bait out a player into shooting it, right? Only 30 seconds left. Sudikas, he's normally been superb in these sort of scenarios, but he's actually going to get forced off the angle. He does have a little bit of support, but in fact, the peak comes back out. It's traded by GTM, but they need to clear some of these players before they can go for the plant. Sassy might be able to sneak around this as well, and a chance to double up for Sassy. But again, the trades come back thick and fast, and Yumpy from behind. He's going to leave 10 seconds on the clock for the spike to go down, and Cryptics will shut things out. 12 to 5, map and series point and Vikings last chance. Hunter's Fury, so you don't have that for, the, for this round. There's no way you can really counter this other than getting in there and instead they're going to get out of there, pulling back and moving out of the site. There's the flank coming through for one kill. It's Cryptics that falls. That's a big blow. The Team Liquid's post plan set up, but they're still able to win these duels. Scream gets a flash pop for him and swings into Sassy, but Sassy full blind still got a kill, keeping a small thread of hope for Vikings to hold on to. Yampi out towards short. They try to bait a peek in, but they need to go for this plant now. It has to be stuck. And Scream is going to get safe to make that happen. The spams are off by an inch. And that is a sad situation for Vikings as Scream closes it with a beautiful 4K. 13 to 5. Vikings will be going out of Masters as Team Liquid move on in the bracket. What a great showing from them. 2-0 to zero, taking down what is widely considered to be the strongest team in Brazil right now.